Hello pupils, welcome to social study lesson. I'm teacher Grace. Today we are going to discuss about resources and economic activity. That one will be our topic. And then we have the subtopic which is fishing. But before we start, let us remind ourselves what we did on the previous lesson. We discussed about hot cutter and we say hot cutter is the growing of fruits flowers and also vegetables and in that one we also discussed about feed culture and we said feed culture that one is the growing of fruits and then also we discussed about floriculture and we say we talked about floriculture is the growing of flowers only we also discussed about hot culture in Netherlands and also hot culture in Kenya but today now, let us go to our topic, which is fish farming. Fish farming is the keeping of fish in ports. So we have fish farming is the keeping of fish in pots. Then we have fishing, the activity itself, fish. Fishing, this one is the activity of moving fish from water. in water or removal of aquatic animal in water so now we continue on we have the fish are bled and fed to supply the farmers with the protein so whatever we get in fish we get the protein and then the farmers can sell their fish to get the income we have the word fishing glove We have the fishing cloud, and this one fishing cloud refers to where fish fishing mainly take place. So I repeat once again, fishing cloud refers to where fishing mainly take place. So we have discussed about the first one, we have talked about the fish farming, and we have said fish farming is keeping of fish in ports or dams. Then we have the fishing, so this one fishing, this one is the activity of removal of aquatic animal such as fish in water. Then we have also discussed about fishing ground, and we have said fishing ground, this one is fishing mainly take place. So where the fish, fishing takes place. Now we still continue on. We have the main fishing cloud in Eastern Africa and these ones are divided into two. We have the inland fishing cloud and then we have the marine fishing cloud. We have the main fishing cloud and we have started with the first one, inla inland fishing cloud and then we have the marine fishing cloud. Then now we continue on with the fish farming areas in Kenya.
We have the fish farming, farming areas in Kenya. We started with fishing farming is carried out in areas that are low-lying with clay soil and regular supply of water. Remember this one, is, they are the fish which live in water. So we need a place that is, has got a lot of water. And the reason we are talking of the supply of water should be adequate. In some farmers have dark pots on their farm where they breed different types of fish. And in these pots are constructed in such a way that there is content flow of water in and out of them. Then we have the main areas. Are the first one, the main areas. We have the first one, which is Nyanza. Then we have the second one. We have the second one, which is Western Central. And then we have coast. So we have discussed about the main areas where the fishing ground is done. So we have the first one, we have the Nyanza, and then we have the Western Central, and then we have the Coast Province. And this one include, so the, the specific areas include Sagana, we have the first one Sagana, we have Kibos, and then we have Slopes of Mount Kenya, we have Homa Bay, and then we have also Chapakari, we have Baburi, and also we have Alubada. And in this one, the government, through the Ministry of Livestock Development, has introduced fish breed in dams built across rivers. The fish in the farms are fed using farm waste, manure, and then we have the kitchen waste, then we have glass, and also we have the weeds. So the farmers who keep fish in their pots, they either use the farm waste, they also use the manure, they also use the kitchen waste, they also use glass, and also the weeds. And then we have the natural fish food known as plankton. This one, we talk of the natural food of fish, we refer to them as plankton. And this one is allowed to blow in the pots. Young fish is known as figurines. We have the young fish. We have the young fish. The young fish, we refer to them as figurines. And where can we get these figurines? Figurines are bought from fish hatcheries in fish farming, such as Sagana, Baburi, so we have Baburi, we have Kibos, Homabe, and also Kigazo. The main fish, which are kept in those places, are Tirapia, we have Tirapia, We have tilapia, we have trout, and also we have mudfish. Fish farming is becoming popular because it is cheap and requires less labor and also lack. Then we continue on with the problem which are facing fish farming. But before we go to problem facing fish farming, we have the method that we use in large scale fishing. So we have this method of fishing in the large scale. We have the first one, we have long lining, and then we have, you can see the drawing of the long lining. 
And then we have the net driven. The net driven, you can see the, the drink itself. And then we have also the trolling. And also, lastly, we have the fast sea. So these ones are the ones that are used in the large scale farming. Let us now go to the problem facing fish farming. The first one. Fish farming face, faces the problem of predators, e.g. snakes, birds, and also cats. So we have the predators, and these predators include, we have the first one, cat, snakes, and also the birds. Then we go to the second one, insufficient supply of water in the ports. So we have the insufficient supply of water in port, especially during the dry season. Then we have the second, the third one, limited market for fish product. Then we go to number four. We have the presence of unwanted weeds. We have the presence of unwanted weeds. Then we continue on. Number five, we have lack of adequate parts. We have number five, which is lack of adequate fat, and then we have use of traditional method of harvesting. We have that one, and then we also have the last one, which is inadequate refrigeration facility, making the fish to be spoiled to spoil before getting into the market. So inadequate refrigeration. So we have those problems facing fish farming. I'm going to start with the first one, which is fish predators. And we have talked about fish predators. We have talked about cat, snakes, and also the bats. So those ones are the predators that feed on fish. And then we have is the second one, which is insufficient supply of water, especially during the dry season. So we lack enough water. And then we have number three, limited market for fish products. Then we have number five, presence of unwanted weeds. And these ones, we talk of hastenings. So the, the weeds that grow in water. And then we have number five, lack of adequate fat. Then number six, use of traditional method of harvesting. Like the one we have, we talked about the long line. Then we have number seven, inadequate refrigeration. Remember, the fish should be kept in a very uh, cool place. And in this one, 
if it lacks these friends that we are calling the refrigerators, whatever will happen, they are going to spoil fast before reaching to the market. Now we still continue on with the fish farm in Japan. Remember in class 8, we talked about, in, cl in class 8 we are supposed to talk about the what? The fish farming in Japan and also the fish farm in Kenya. So when we have already discussed about the fish farming in Kenya and now we go direct to fish farming in Japan. And Japan, we know it is an island in the far east of Pacific Ocean. So whatever you are supposed to know about Japan, Japan is an island. And this one, it is in the far east of the Pacific Ocean. It consists of 3,000 islands, the main one being Hokkaido. So I'm going to write these islands. We have the first one. We have Hokkaido. Then we have the other one, Honshu. And then still, we have another, another island, Chikoku. And lastly, we have Yutu. So we have these main islands. We have Hokkaido and Honshu, Chikoku, and also we have Yutu. And this one, in these islands, it is only the places where we get the alabo farming. And being the four, the four islands, and these one are the places that we have talked of, we have the arable farming. The limited arable land has forced the Japanese to maximize exploitation of fish resources in the seas near and away, making Japan the leading producer of fish in the world. So we have the Jap Japan is the main lead, or oh, it's the leading producer of fish in the world. Japan produces about one sixth of the fish in the world, in the world. So we have uh, that one, we have said that Japan is the leading place where we have the, the they produce a lot of fish. And then we have talked about also another thing that we are supposed to know, it produces one sixth of the wild fish and also the fish products. Apart from fishing in the open seas, the Japanese have set fish farms in the fresh water, ports and dams where they breed eels and also the trout. So in these places that they have set, we have talked about open seas. And these open seas, we have the eels and also the trout. These are few fish pods due to limited large size. The few pods that exist are intensively managed to allow maximum returns. In the shallow shores of the sea, figurings are introduced as areas of fishing farming. So the areas that are very shallow, those ones, they introduce the, the figurings. And after introducing the figurings, whatever happened now, now they are going to be the places of breeding the fish. The fish breed in the seas include the, we have the first one, I'm going to light it. We have the oyster. We have the oyster. And then we also have another one, the scallops. We have the prawns and also the yellow tail. So we have the scallops. We have the scallops, 
we have the aerotails and also we have the probes. Remember these ones are the figurines which are intro introduced in the shallow places of the sea. And we have said we have the oyster, we have the pattern which is oyster, we have the scallops, we have the aerotail, and also we have the prawns. Fishing and the marketing of fish are mainly done through cooperatives formed by the fishermen. So the fishermen forms the cooperatives. And after forming the cooperatives, that's where the farmers sell their fish. Fish eating is very popular in Japan, and there is a large market that encourages the industry. So another, the, fish, the fishermen receive a lot of financial support from banks and also the government, which it enables them to buy fish equipment like refrigeration and also processing facilities. Fishing is highly mechanized, allowing the catching of fish of Pacific breeds and sizes. So I repeat once again, fishing is highly mechanized in, the, in Japan, allowing them to catch the fish of their specific breeds and also the sizes and that we are through with the fishing cloud in Japan. So I repeat once again about Japan, and we have said Japan is an island, an island in the far east of the Pacific Ocean. And we have examples of the islands. We have said we have the main islands which are found in Japan. We have talked of Hokkaido, we have Honshu, Chikoku, and also Yutsu. And these places are the only places that have allowable area for farming. And also we have discussed about the open areas, open seas. And this one we have said Japanese have set up fish farming in the fresh water pots and dams that they breed the eels and also the trout. The few fish, due to limited large size, the few pods that exist are intensively managed to allow maximum returns. In the shallow shores of the sea, fig gardens are introduced as areas of fish farming. And this one, the fish farming area. Remember we have said about the shallow places of the sea. This one, they keep fig gardens right. O oyster, we have talked of oyster, then we have talked of the scallops, we have talked of prawns, and also we have talked about yellow tails. And also we have said fishing here is done in cooperatives. So the fishermen have already uh, formed the cooperatives. Remember also we have said that we uh, talked about the Japan being a reading producer of fish in the world. We have uh, this one, it is very popular fishing, uh, eating of fish here is popular in Japan, and also there is large market that encourage the industry. Then also we have discussed about the financial support. They have the financial support from the government and also from the banks, which it enable them to buy the equipment, like fish equi fishing equipment, we, ha we have talked about refrigeration and also processing facilities. Then also we have discussed about fishing is highly mechanized, allowing the catching of fish of specific breeds and sizes. Then now we still continue on with the comparison of fish between Kenya and Japan. And I know now learners, you have now heard about the fishing in Kenya and also the fishing in Japan. Now you can have the comparison. We have that comparison, the difference between Kenya fishing and also the Japan fishing. I start with the first one. We, ha we have there is a small market as fish eating is not popu very popular. Remember we have talked about Kenya. Kenya, the 
areas that mostly keep fish. We have talked about western, we have talked about coast province. Remember, the fish, the fishing here is not very popular in Kenya. Then in Japan, there is a large domestic market. So we have talked of the first difference, there is small market as fish is not very popular in Kenya and in Japan there is large domestic market. Then number two, it is carried out on small scale, that one is in Kenya, it is done on large scale using large pesos, that one is in Japan. So in Kenya it is done in small scale and then we have in Japan it is done in large scale. Then we, ha we have the other one. Most of fishermen use traditional method of fishing. That one is in Kenya. So they use the traditional method of fishing and then in Japan it is highly mechanized. It is highly mechanized. Then we still continue on. The fishermen have inadequate funds for buying equipment. Then in Japan there is adequate financial support from banks and government to buy fishing equipment. So inadequate funds So we have inadequate fund in Kenya and this one, adequate financial support from banks and government to buy fishing equipment. Then the other one, industry is less developed in Kenya. This one is where developed fishing industry. So less developed in Kenya and then we have where developed fishing industry. There is little research on fisheries. So we have there is little research of fisheries. There is advanced study on fishery. Then we have advanced study of fisheries and this one we have retro research of industries. Then we have fishing and marketing is mainly done by individuals. So in Kenya it's done by individuals and this one in Japan it is done through cooperative. So it is done through cooperatives. Then also the last one, we have fishing farming is mainly carried out in ports and dams. 
Retro is carried out in lakes, rivers, and ocean. So here it is mainly carried out in ports and also dams. But in Japan, it is carried in ports, dams, and seas. And now we have seen, the, we have already compared between Kenya and also the Japan. So the first one we have seen, in Kenya, we have a small market. But in Japan, there is large domestic market. And then we have talked about the second one. We have fishing here is done in small scale. And in Japan, it is done in large scale. Then we have number three, traditional method of fishing, which is used in Kenya. But in Japan, it is highly mechanized. Then we have number four, inadequate fats in Kenya, but in Japan there is adequate financial support. That one is either in banks and also in by the government. Then we have talked of number five, they are less developed, the less developed market in Kenya, but in Japan it is well developed market. Then number six, we have talked about literal research of a little research of fisheries, but here in Japan we have advanced study of fisheries. Then there are the next one we have individual that one they they fish individually, but in Japan they use the cooperatives. Then we have the last one here the the in Kenya fishing is mainly dams in ports and also the dams but in Japan fishing is done in ports, dams and also the seas and now we are almost ending our lesson so whatever I'm going to do we are going first of all to have an activity so and we should be well prepared for the activity and the first question will be what is fish farming that one Lana we discussed what is fish farming Lana I know you have already answered fish farming is the keeping of fish in ponds then we have the word fishing uh-huh define the word fishing Lana I know you have already answered fishing this one is activity of taking aquatic animals such as fish out of water then our last question Na natural fish food that grows in the pool in the pond is known as i repeat once again natural fish food that grows in the pond is known as lana i know you have already answered that one we refer to it as Tones. And that one marks the end of our social study lesson. Goodbye till next time.